Hey, welcome back to the channel. We're going to the Ice Cavern today. Last time we did the Fire Temple, and of course in the Fire Temple we got the big Meg Megaton Hammer. We've got a couple really cool things that we can get along the way as we make our way to Zora's River. And we're going to get those couple of goodies along the way. But then, yeah, we're going to hit Zora's River, go into Zora's Domain, and things have changed drastically there. After Zora's Domain, we'll go even deeper. We'll find the king. Something really bad's happened to him. And then even deeper than that, we go into Zora's Fountain. Yeah, everything's frozen over. Hence the name. And we go right into the Ice Cavern. This is super critical to our journey. Because this journey requires us next time. We're going to the Water Temple. To do that, we need the Zora Tunic and we need the Iron Boots. One to breathe underwater and one to sink underwater. These are critical and that's why we do the Ice Cavern and we're going to do it up. I wanted to give a shout out to my friend in Vermont. And his name is Aaron. Aaron from Vermont. I just found out that you're a subscriber. That means so much to me. My dad told me about it, and Aaron and, and me, you know, we know each other. And I had no idea you were watching, and it means a lot to me, man. And for all of you out there, his fellow subscribers, and everyone watching this for the first time, uh, Aaron is, a, is an amazing kid who has had insane and complicated life, uh, uh, challenging health issues. And he takes it like a trooper. But he's one of us. He loves games, he loves sci-fi and fantasy stuff, and right now I've been told he's building an immaculately huge uh, Minecraft village. So yeah, he's one of us guys. Please, Aaron in Vermont, everybody, give him a shout out in the comments. Just say hello. I think that might make his day. But Aaron, I appreciate you so much, buddy, for watching, for being here. Man, thank you. I hope you're doing well. My thoughts and my prayers are with you, bud. This is the Ice Cavern, and I'm Loud Boy. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, guys, here we go. As you know, last time we beat the Fire Temple, this time we're headed to the Ice Cavern, but we got a couple cool things we can do with our brand new hammer first. That hurt. <laughs> it's the easiest way to get down though. Right when you jump off there or climb down if you want to be responsible, you can now smack away and destroy boulders with ease. There's a gold scotella right here on your left. So grab that sucker. As you can see, the volcano is no longer throwing down giant lava rocks and boulders at us, which is a lovely thing. Makes for an, a much nicer journey. Listen. Yes, Navi. <laughs> ah, yeah, of course, as usual, she's telling us exactly this, the thing that we're about to do. So, yeah, as if you're going to Goron City. Don't go to Goron City, turn left. Right here, remember as a kid, where we uh, threw a bomb off to open up Dunnago's Cavern? Uh, there used to be a bomb flower here. And also we did a backflip, where right down there, there's a, there was a, um, there was a uh, piece of heart waiting for us. Well, oh, perfect timing. I cannot believe day bro broke just as we just as we need it to still be nighttime. Wouldn't you know it. So, playing the sun song. Always our quick way back to night. Oh, and look at that. Hello. One smack with a hammer. And we got another gold skull tala. Very nice. So, taking out of Ocarina, we're going to go up. Uh... Oops. Play the... Pr play... Play the Prelude of Light. Say that five times fast. Play the Prelude of Light. Pray the... See, I, I can't. All right, so this will take us to the Temple of Time. Why are we doing that? Well, it's actually a pretty darn quick way to get off the mountain and in somewhat general vicinity 
of Hyrule Field, which then, of course, connects to Zora's River, which is where we're going, which then leads to Zora's Domain. So, you can do that, or you can keep climbing down if you want. Avoid these sickos. Keep on trucking. Past the old Poe shop there. Out to Hyrule Field. So yeah, we're going over to Zora's River. I, I could call Epona, but by the time I called her over and stuff, I would have been more than halfway there. So I'm just going to book it on foot for now. And of course, it's still, still nighttime. And hopefully it'll stay that way a little while longer, because we need it to be. Uh, we have one gold skull of the grab, and we're going to ride our, our magic leaf. And then there's another one right before Zora's Domain, also on Zora's River. I kind of think we got that in an earlier installment, so I'm just going to take a peek up there, make sure we did. So here we are, Zora's River. Jumping on the old leaf here. Taking us right up to here. Here we go. Oh, there it is. You guys see it? There's another one for us. Of course, we need the right tool for that. Right up here on this wall, okay? You ride that leaf right to there. And we got another one. It is daybreak. So we will have to... How are we doing on fairies? Ah. We are one down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we used that in the fire temple, didn't we? Well, let's tank up while we're here. Remember, there's also a fairy fountain right here in this area. Kind of the first stop on the old magic leaf ride there. There we go. Alright. Now we're tanked up on both hearts and three... Uh, bottles of fairies, so that's all good stuff. So now, here we go. Taking us right back out. Let's see, we want to go this way. Up Zora's River, basically. Toward Zora's Fountain. Oh, I can't believe I missed that jump. Okay. Let me check something real quick, guys. Just a whim that... Alright, yeah. We, uh... We recently... Completed a heart container. By getting pieces of heart. And stopping right now at the frogs would just be too time-consuming with... Very little payoff at this moment. So, not going to do that right now. But yes, there's that log back there. Alright, so right up here. Okay. I'm pretty sure we got this in an earlier installment, but I'm going to make sure. Playing the sun song. So that Skulltella, if he is there, you know, he'll come out. Come out to play. All right, grabbing. Yeah, we got it. Okay, cool. I thought so. But wanted to make sure. All right, we're going to need that ocarina out again. Back and forth, back and forth. It's like the water temple all over again. Alright, so of course, playing Zelda's Lullaby gives us access to Zora's Domain. Lovely full moon tonight. And we did already get that Gold Skull Tella in an earlier installment, which is right up... See the waterfall? It's just to the right there, and if, if you haven't seen it, that's in the earlier, one of my earlier videos. I think it's probably the last one. I think we did that with Fire Temple. 
uh, on the way there. At least I think so. So, oh, well, would you look at this? The old king is frozen. Our friend. But soon enough, my friend, we will... We will free you <laughs> from your magical red ice bondage there. Alright, so, what are we going to do? The way is still open to us to get back to Zora's fountain. And here we are. Just like Domain, it's completely frozen over. This next part can be kind of tricky. You kind of have to know which ones you can stand on, which ones you can't, which ones you can climb up on. Uh, the biggest plat, the biggest uh, iceberg, is it, if you will, or ice platforms, you can climb up on. They're, they uh, lower enough to where you can kind of grab hold. And now it's basically, it's a timing game. And we're jumping. This will carry us over to this one. And there you go. Nice pit stop, okay? Before you make your way all the way to um, actually get to the ice cavern. These spin, they can be kind of disorienting. They'll kind of throw off your direction, if you will. So take your time. Look around, kind of concentrate on where you are. We want to make our way to this ledge right here. On the map, it's on the actually on the north side of the, of the map. And this, we're here. We're already at the ice cavern. So, real, your sword will take care of this. However, right now we have nothing to take care of this special red ice. That'll come soon enough. Oops. Yeah, I, I had my uh, my thing mapped there. There we go. So these guys can be kind of fun. One thing that you can do is use your hook shot. Bring it, bring it over. Oh yeah, they're 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 getting me now. trying to do a forward slash on him. Wasn't working. Okay. After you dispense with... Oh, there's one more. There we go. You have to get rid of all four of them. That'll raise the bars. The irony is, right? I just filled up on fairies. I've got to dump two of them <laughs> just to uh, navigate this, this dungeon. So, uh, but hey, it's, it's a good habit to do that than not do that, okay? Alright, this is a giant spinning ice blade in the middle of this room. So, the game here is to collect. You'll hear a nice little chime when you collect a new one here. I want that heart. Oh, crap. You got me. Alright, um... Back to the outside, staying to the outside. There's another one there. And the final one. I hear a gold skull Tala. The final one is right up here. You see these bars? And there it is. You have to kind of just jump off this ledge, grab it, raises those bars, and. The blade stopped getting me here. Stand underneath it. Hook shot. And let's take him out. And we got another one. Another gold skull tella. Now, those bars raised on this ledge, okay? The one that we jumped off for that silver rupee. Well, climb up. And go on through. That is one strategy, using your hookshot 
to pull you close to those guys and dispatch them before they can get you. All right, this room. This room's kind of fun. Actually, I, I kind of like this room. This is where we first can get that red fire. Uh-oh. New enemy. Ice keys. Snipe him if you can. Take him out if you can. And everyone's freezing me today, huh? There we go. Gonna make your way right over here. Okay, I was about to... Yeah, Navi. Come on, Navi, stop. And turn around. Oh, man. Navi. Alright, there's another one. Okay, like I was saying, we we have to get rid of some fairies, as painful as that is. So, why? We need the empty bottles to collect blue fire, which then melts the red ice. It's that simple. So, take out a bottle, swipe it in like you're collecting a fairy and booyah you bought blue fire in a bottle let's grab another one while we're here always good to have a couple on you okay nope i'm so used to my hook shot being on that button here we go let's fix that right away here So, what do we do with the blue fire? We simply do that. We use it. And voila. Melts the red ice, giving us access to what's underneath. In this case, it's our dungeon map. Before we leave this room, though, we're going to do something smart. I stop see targeting that guy down there. There we go. Grab some more blue eyes. So now we have two bottles worth. That's the goal. That room, map, that's where we get our map. It's also where we get our first blue fire. Here is the ice room, the ice blade room. Check it out. It now exposes a, a pa passageway that we didn't have before. I hate missing these things. All right. Okay. Let's get our other blue eyes. This is actually a really cool room. While you're here, get both bottles full. Because this room makes it really easy to get in and out with some blue fire. All right, why do we need that? So we can do this. There's a chest under here, as you can see. And now we 
we have a compass. Easy peasy. All right, as you know, we have to go back and get some more blue fire. We're not done here yet. Okay, we got two right now. I hear a gold skull. Tala, you guys hear it? That's an easy piece of heart. And where are you? There you are. Hi, right, buddy. And another gold skull. Tala. So, before we leave, get blue fire again. As you can see, yep, we have two. Cool. That takes care of that room. Where we got our compass, piece of fire, gold skull tella. Like I said, great little room. That was the ledge we went up before, so let's go straight across. Let's see what weighs first down here. Oh, yay! It's this room. Okay. One of the best things to do right away. Oh, I, I almost had him. I, I had my, my. I had my bow out, and now you come and get me. Oh, you little punk. This heart's still there? No, too late. Okay. But, I hear it. You guys hear it? This room also has... Besides the gold skull color. Um, this room also has, as you can see, these uh, silver rupees that we need to collect. Oh, I see you, buddy. Okay. This block can be pushed. Allowing you to use it to actually gain access to these different pillars around the room. The floor is very slippery. Okay, nice. As you would expect with any ice room. There we go. Another one. There's another one. fire and a final silver rupee which is directly across from where we are meaning that currently where this sliding ice block is located will not reach that platform over there you reset the block there's another pattern that you just saw 
where you can push it around the room, giving us access to the now unlocked area. There's another one of those stupid guys. Take care of him with extreme prejudice. There's another one. And man, it makes me wish I had some more blue fire. Okay, well that's okay. I can, I can get some more in a minute. So, but this blue fire will take care of all three of these. All three of these. Oh, why do I always miss the pots? Thank you. All right. Do the mystery door into the super cool mystery room. And guess who we have here? Another one of these guys. Kind of the ice variety, though. Two good hits with your forward slash, and he's taken care of. But, what do we have here? The Iron Boots. That's why we have this dungeon. That's why we did what we did. These are crucial, of course, to our next stop, which is the Water Temple, which will be the episode following this one. That's it, man. That's that's why we're here. The Iron Boots. And... Who's this? We meet again, Link. If you came here to meet the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick sheet of ice. I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice, but she left to head to the water temple. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple is the source of that curse. And unless you shut off that source, this ice will never melt. If you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zoras, I will teach you the melody that leads to the temple. Time passes and people move. Like rivers flow, it never ends. A childish mind will turn to noble ambition and young love become deep affection. The clear water's surface reflects growth. Now listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. You have learned the serenade of water. Link, I'll see you again. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And there she goes. Okay. What did we just get? The iron boots. They now show up as our second pair of boots. We can access them. They're very heavy, which allow us to do what? Sink underwater. Allowing us to exit that room. Of course, we cannot breathe underwater just yet. But, there we go. Alright. Before we leave... We really need to get some more blue fire. Oh, every darn time.
Okay, remember this room? Before you leave the ice cavern, get more blue fire. It is critical. Okay. Remember King Zora. He's currently trapped in the red ice. And for us to continue on our journey, we have to free him. So don't leave this without getting, and every time, uh, more blue fire. So, we have two bottles worth. Very good, we are back at the Zora's Fountain. There is something we can do here, however, and you can wait till you get a certain piece of clothing, but I'm pretty sure we have enough time now. What I might mean by that? Strap on your iron boots and you have access to places we didn't have access to. All right, yeah, so we have, a, we have a minute 40. That's how long we can hold our breath. Which is probably longer than I can do in real life. Um, sinking to the bottom of Zora's Fountain is worth your while. And look what's straight ahead. That's right. Piece of heart. Which, by the way, that gives us three. So now that one that we... With the uh, frogs on the log... That I said, you know, anyway, we have three. That that would be a fourth, and that would be a whole new heart container at this point. So now it would be worth it to actually go do that. I mean, it's always worth it, but you, you know what I mean. In that moment. All right, so, swimming back up. Ah, we can breathe again. Just like Mario being underwater. In certain games, right? Not all games. I mean, <laughs> a lot of the Mario games have those water levels, and uh, he, like, breathes indefinitely. But, um, of course, in Crash Bandicoot, he's got that, uh, the tanks on his back to, to breathe underwater scuba gear. I mean, I haven't played Crash in a while. I need to play some Crash. All right, so here we go. Back out to Zora's Domain. Oh, there's the king. And why did I jump down? So let's, let's go up there and free him using our blue fire. Yeah, I've thought about playing Crash, making some videos about, because I have many different versions. Um, all right, here we go. Let's talk to him. Oh, I'll come back to life. Was it you who saved me? Well, don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. With this, you will not choke underwater. And there you go. We got the Zora tunic. That's why we got the that blue fire before we left the ice cavern. That's why I wanted to free the king. Not only to free the king, but he has something very special. Another iron boots. And also, what do we need for the water temple? The ability to actually breathe and operate in water. And there you go. This is my favorite tunic, by the way. B b far and away. Like For me, wearing this for the rest of the game is just... I love the blue one, because I, I, I like blue, so. All right. That is the ice cavern. We have our iron boots. We have our Zora's tunic. Well, there you have it, guys. That was the ice cavern. We have the iron boots. We have the Zora's tunic. Next up, we're going to the water temple. So please join me for that. Also, uh, Aaron, thanks again for, for being here, guys. Guys, say hello to Aaron, please. Uh, he's one of us, and I think it'd be really cool. Also, the Fire Temple is out, and if you haven't checked it out yet, uh, the story so far 
Basically, this sucker is about three hours long, but it includes every boss fight and dungeon and weapon and song and cool moment from Ocarina of Time. Deku Tree, all the way through the Spirit Temple. You can check that out on my channel as well. Yeah, this is the Ice Cavern, next time Water Temple. Guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to hear your comments below and share this with a friend. So until next time, this is Loud Boy signing off. You guys have an awesome day.